Canada's largest pop culture convention returning for its four-day extravaganza with Fan Expo Canada 2024 taking place at the Metro Toronto Convention Centre August 22nd to 24th with plenty of exciting guests including many from the Star Wars universe such as Rosario Dawson, Bryce Dallas Howard, Tamara Morrison, Yuna Suotamo, Giancarlo Stant Esposito, Cameron Monaghan, Ashley Eckstein and of course the incredible armor herself from the Mandalorian on Disney Plus, Emily Swallow. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. So uh, prior to getting cast in one of the most popular Star Wars projects ever, uh, were you a fan yourself, or was this just just another uh, just another job? Um, both, because I was a fan, but it was also just another audition. Because I I am I am. Uh, very cautiously optimistic about everything that I go in for, because the reality is that I don't get most of what I, I mean, the reality for most actors, we, we don't get most of the things we audition for. So I approached it the same way I would any other audition. Um, that was also helped by the fact that they really didn't give me much information. So I knew it was something probably in the star Wars universe, but that was it. I didn't know when in the timeline it was happening. I didn't know who, they didn't tell me anything about any of the characters. So that made it easy to, to not really get too attached to anything. Um, but I, I say I was sort of a moderate Star Wars fan because I'd seen all the movies. You know, I grew up with the original trilogy and I loved Princess Leia and I loved the Ewoks. And um, and then I I didn't really get into the the animated shows um, until I was cast. And then I realized, oh, I, I got to learn a few more things about these Mandalorians. And so it was great to have that that wide range of things to watch and to read. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, I, I didn't, it was sort of exciting that it was possibly Star Wars when I auditioned, but I really, whenever I'm going in for something, I try to put any of that stuff out of my mind and just focus on the character and what I want to do with that character. And then if it's meant to work out, it will. Now that you're kind of fully engulfed in it, you spent a lot of time as the armorer. How mm. has that changed for you in terms of how invested you are in the lore? Are there any characters specifically you would want personally the armor to interact with and have a story with? Oh my gosh. Well, my dream is for the armorer and Pelimoto to get together because I think it would be so awkward and so ridiculous. And because I think Amy Sedaris is an absolute genius. So that is at the top of my list. Um, I mean, there's so many great characters in Star Wars and so many incredible, I, I tend to think about the actors who are playing them when I'm wondering who the armorer should interact with, but, but Pelimoto is definitely at the top of my list. The Mandalorian and Grogu has officially begun production with announcements at D23 and the film coming in 2026. Do you know if you're going to be a part of the film? Are you allowed to talk about it at all? If not, just push me on to the next one. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Very fair. Very fair. <laughs> uh, I had my, I got my little Grogu here for good luck, just in case. But, uh, nice. you know, I uh, I had to ask just to just to try it out um, outside of Star Wars. Are you? What are the kind of fandoms that uh, you're a part of? What tele kind of TV and movies do you enjoy? When Emily Swallow comes home from a hard day at work, what are you? What are you throwing <laughs> on the TV? Um, you know, a show that I've really enjoyed recently was uh, Palm Royale with Kristen Wiig, because I I love the period that it's set in, and I love. There's so many wonderful actors in it. And it's just so much fun. Um, so that comes to mind just because it it I so recently watched it. But my husband and I, you know, we have our shows that we watch together. We finally actually no, we still have one or two episodes left of Succession. Um, I would love to be a part of a show like that because the I, I like ensemble shows. I love creating things with other people and and you know having one character sort of be important for a while and then another another within that that team of people sort of, sort of rise to prominence that interests me the most because I think when we see that kind of storytelling over the range of seasons there's just so many unexpected places for it to go um so 
I mean, there's so many actors from that. Matt, Matthew McFadden is somebody who I've wanted to work with for ages. Um, but then I, people also ask me like, okay, well, what, what did you grow up with that you would want to be a part of? And 100%, if I could be a part of something to do with She-Ra or Gem and the Holograms, I would lose my mind. I would love that. And I sing, so I could be, I could totally do Gem and the Holograms. Absolutely. I uh, I wish I would have had a question that could have set up some kind of singing here. So I would have had <laughs> something to prep for you. But I, I feel like that's already on the spot. So it would be two on the spot if I already can't uh, can't think of what type of song to throw at you. But this is one I promised my wife that I would uh, I would ask you because okay. her comfort type of television show is a procedural. Uh, you usually like the proceed uh, police procedural, but lawyer stuff, things like mm -hmm. that. And so her favorite so far that we've come across is The Mentalist. Oh, and this nice. is something I watched with my parents when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. um, and then I got to rewatch with her. And but I never quite finished it with when with my parents growing up. And so to my surprise, when Patrick Jane and Teresa Lisbon are going to the FBI, it was such it was so cool. Emily Swallow pops up. The armor is right there. Later on, the Mandalorian himself is there with Pedro Pascal coming in. Yeah. So it was a fun little <laughs> Star Wars crossover. Uh, do you have any fun Patrick, uh, Patrick Jane, Teresa Lisbon uh, stories I can pass along? Oh, my gosh. Well, you know, one of the, the most enjoyable things for me to see on that show, um, because I came into it five seasons in and um, Simon Baker is such a creative genius because when you've been doing that kind of show for that long, you've been working most of the year with really long hours. Um, you're not getting to see your family much. You, you can get tired, you know, because even though of course we're always grateful for the jobs that we do when they, when they run long hours, it's still tiring. And to see what Simon brought to that character that wasn't necessarily on the page, um, the ingenuity that he brought, the charisma that he brought, the charm that he brought was such a wonderful acting lesson. Um, and then to see too, I mean, Robin is is such a, she's such a grounding presence or she, she was for me on that show. Um, and she really like helped me with nerves about like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? Like jumping into this show that's been going for five seasons and how do I fit into all this? And um, and so I was so grateful for her, but yeah, just kind of, you know, when, when you get to dive into something like that and these people already know each other so well, you're sort of like the transfer student. Um, and so it was, it was very cool to see all of the ways that they, they really helped each other out and helped out the other actors around them. It was a, um, a good lesson as an actor, in addition to being fun storytelling fan expo canada 2024 is coming august 22nd and 24th and promises a fan experience that's not to be missed tickets are still available at fan expo hq.com thank you so much for joining me Thanks, emily DJ. i won't be able to be in toronto in person for fan expo canada we will have other agents fandom there but i'm looking forward to seeing you in edmonton because i will be in oh, that good. i will be there in person well that'll be a little more chill too yeah exactly a lot easier to get through those lines yes <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a good Take one. Take care.